Hello and welcome back to another edition of the Insta Filter series. In today's video, I will share the HSL pop and color filter, as I like to call it. Here is an interesting image, and when we apply the Insta Filter, have a look at that. Pretty awesome. Notice how we get these nice warm colors with a beautiful contrast, and all of this with two adjustments. Let me remove these adjustments and recreate them together with you. The first step is to add an HSL adjustment. In the HSL, we are going to lower the saturation with half, which generates this gray looking image with a tint of color. Optionally, we can increase the lightness and slightly adjust the hue. Excellent. We now have an image which is perfect to blend with a soft light or overlay blend mode. In these blend modes, the gray color is neutral and has no effect. So the image we see right now will generate very subtle changes if blended in overlay or soft light. The effect we get is very similar to an S-curve. Let me hide this HSL adjustment and add a curves adjustment to show you what I mean. Let's compare. And as you notice, they are indeed very similar. But the HSL soft light will have some subtle differences. I'm going to keep the HSL adjustment and remove the curves adjustment for now. Time for the second adjustment. This will be a basic recolor adjustment. To get a warmer look, I'm going to use a color close to red, something like this. Now, this is of course not what we are looking for. Let's fine tune the blend ranges and make sure the recolor adjustment gradually applies from the darker colors to the lighter colors in the image by using a diagonal line for the underlaying image. I also want to have the effect start from the darker mid-tones. I can do this by moving the starting point of the curve. That looks pretty awesome. The final touch is to set the blend mode of the recolor adjustment to darken. This will make sure that the recolor will only apply to pixels which are lighter than the selected color. In a way, we protect the darker pixels in the image from the recolor effect. This gives a more natural blend. And that's it! An amazing color filter in a couple of easy steps. To keep things tidy, I can move these adjustments as clipped childs to the image, so that these adjustments will only apply to the image and not to everything below in the layer stack. Let's have a quick look at the before and at the end result. Awesome! Here are a couple of suggestions for you when using this effect. For example, you can mask out the recolor adjustment. So in this case, suppose I want to have the bright warm colors only at the lights in the tunnel. To achieve that, I will just paint with black on the recolor adjustment for the areas it doesn't need to apply, which is the scenery shown from the tunnel and the shadow. Let's try this effect on another image. This image is quite similar. I have created a macro for this action and will apply it first. So here is the next tip. You can also play with the hue in the HSL adjustment to get a bit of a different look. Also, you can experiment with different colors in the recolor adjustment for different effects. As a final tip, you can change the blend mode of the recolor adjustment to normal if you want to give a color tint to the whole image. Pretty cool, isn't it? Time to experiment with some other example photos. Here is a nice building. Let's apply the macro. Not bad at all. The image got two times more interesting. How about this image? I will apply the macro and we can see the result immediately. Next, I have this cozy street. Let me apply the macro. Awesome! Next. Wow, I like how this turned out. Let's have a quick look at the before again. And here is a beautiful photo from Venice. 
Let's apply our macro. Beautiful. From my experience, this method works very nice with city and landscape photos. Let's try it on a portrait photo. I will quickly paste a portrait photo and apply the macro. Not bad at all. However, your results may vary with this effect. We can also use the macro on black and white photos. When I paste this black and white image and apply the macro, you get this nice color graded black and white photo. By changing the color in the recolor adjustment, we can get different looks. Awesome! Here is another black and white image. When we apply our macro, we get this nice old school contrasty look. Again, with the recolor adjustment, I can fine tune it to give it even a bit more of an old photo look. As a final touch, we can add some noise and grain to the image, which will give this nice finish to the image. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. I have also put an updated link to the InstaFilter macros containing this effect. Thanks again for watching and subscribing. Keep safe and keep being creative. Until the next video.